it is very significant in that the Divine Mother represents the forces of nature, the creative principle. The Divine Father, the consciousness principle. Though these are analogy, consciousness principle, Purusha, is uh, recognized in this archetypal form as uh, um, masculine principle, as Shiva and Shakti. Divine Mother is recognized as creative principle, creating the living beings, bringing them into existence, nurturing their existence and their survival. And so, in this archetypal sphere, one must feel that without the blessings of the Divine Mother, all living beings would disappear from this earth, consumed in the flame. So the mother gives life, gives nurturance, procreation, and continued survival. She gives the blessing of the creativity of species. So this is the image of mother. The image of father gives the silence, the stillness, the conscious principle, where all form and creativity of the mother come to the peace, eternal and silent. This is the silent base the substantive nature in which this creative process occurs. But it is said of Shiva and Shakti that consciousness base and the creative principle, that they are like two sides of a paper. They cannot be separated out. Together they form Brahma, they form the whole of existence. They cannot be separated out. So when due to certain needs, these different principles appear to be one dominant or the other dominant, it is imaginary. They are like two sides of a paper. They cannot be parted from each other. As mind grows in magnitude, as the forces of equanimity and synthesis blow all the living beings in one flow, this awareness of the integrated nature will grow in magnitude. So that this archetype of Divine Mother is not to be lost, but to be seen in this balance. The mother cannot be suppressed. In patriarchy, this force has become less um, valued. It became less valued. And oppression of women ensued from the devaluing of this creative principle. 
but in the current times this principle rises to the front. It rises up and so much worship of the Divine Mother and the Divine Feminine is coming into play because the consciousness of living beings is becoming aware of this principle and its importance. Yet it will not take dominance as in matriarchy because its real nature in complete unity with the patriarchal principle is to be deeply understood in the very essence and core of each person. Purusha consciousness is the base. It is like the clay from which the creative principle molds the base. If there was no clay, there could be no base. If there was no creative entity to mold the vase, there would also be no vase. Thus, both are inherently necessary in all that is. And that will be more and more the view. It is a time of synthesis that comes. All right.